Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen, and you've joined me for the Japanese Grand Prix in the World Racing League Pacific Championship Season 2. And you'll notice that Dubsy is again taking pole, but this time on us, I'm on uh, the front row accompanying him and planning on taking a good deal of points as uh, Zenith, my championship rival, lines up in third position. Uh, that's a fantastic start we made there, and uh, Dubsy's already behind us before the first turn. And we're going to make that move into the first position. And uh, Danny's overtaken Zenith, so that's good. It's also good for us in the championship. Now uh, it's lap three, and Dubsy has a huge head of steam. And he's massively quick at this track, so I'm just decided to let him through, let him go, not take any risks of the carts way faster than me. And end up in a position like last week where I've lost points to Zenith and I really should have beaten him. My strategy included a pit stop on lap 4, and that's what happens here. Yes, and we lose a second there, waiting for a car to go past. It's not too much of a worry though because we've come out in nice clear air there in 4th position. And that's the Lotus of Kane who lost. His front wing, and I believe digged it too early on the lap, letting us through. Not that he had much of a choice there. Okay, Nothing much happened in that stint, lap 13. Managed to make another stop there. Sorry, lap 12 it would have been. Clear track, and joining in third. And this is style and emerging from the pits and a different strategy, and an altogether, altogether better strategy than me. I think it was prime, prime, option, option from memory. And uh, he's come out in a challenging position to me. And in fact, he sails past uh, even before 130R, which really surprised me. And uh, I didn't think I needed to defend that line. Anyway, great move by Stalin, and uh, he really should take advantage of that. But he went wide at the top of the S's and uh, kicked up a bit of gravel and let me back past. And I wasn't about to make the same as mistakes twice and letting him through on the left before 1.30 out. So you'll see now that uh, on the following lap, I'm in the middle of the track, not giving him much room to make an overtake and not, not swerving either, so no blocking or weaving there. And he has no way of getting past, even if I'm on fully on the left. If, if he takes the right-hand line, it's just gonna you know, make it very difficult for him to continue on the track through 130R. And there again, we've made it through in front of him. Now, this time we're going a bit wide at Spoon, and that's because we're going to pit this lap, and our tyres are not in good position, and he is on option tyres, so he really should be all over the back of us. We're going to again make when it's safe, go to the middle of the track, and uh, keep the position. Made a curb there, but I don't think that was really corner cutting. And replacing the tyres is exactly what I do. This is my final pit stop. And again, in some nice clean air, so this undercut is going to help us stay in front of Stalin. He has a bit of a pace advantage. He did start at the back because he crashed during qualifying, so he wasn't able to show his true pace. And you can see there we've got about a second on him. With five to go, and he's again on the option tyre, so he has the advantage here. And again, the same position, the straight after Spoon and before 130R. Gonna go to the left of the track, and in the middle. And he always go on the right, but he can't really make anything stick there. So we've kept that position. Dubsy says a 133, and that's just some brilliant pace there. But now DRS, and this is a real danger because this lap I haven't got a very good drive out of that last chicane. And I place the car sort of in the middle of the track, and all Stalin's had a bit of a, a bit of a go there on the left, and there's been contact even with the wall him for for him, sorry. And he's followed that up with going off at turn two, possibly with some stuff on his tyres, possibly with end plate damage. Not sure. Let's see if we can get a replay of that in slow motion. Yes, here we are. See, I made no deviation to the left until there was actually contact. So, unless that's lag, uh, I don't know what 
what really caused that. But anyway, Stalin was out, unable to catch up until the last sector of the race, so no real issues for me for him. And Dubsy wins, but 18 points for me is my main target, and 50 point lead over Zenith is absolutely fantastic. So I'll see you next time, guys, and uh, I've been Jacko.